Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lowest Fire Showroom. My name is Pyrus Madras and we're live just about now, here we are, with uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. As soon as I click the button, there we go, we should be able to see it. Uh, hopefully everyone's actually... I actually didn't forget to click the thing this time. Turn my headset down a little bit. Liam, how are you doing today? We're in game. Let me get on Twitch with my phone. Just in case. There we go. Load game. Most recent game is this one. Right, we just healed, apparently. Doing well is excellent. We love to hear it. How's your day been, my friend? We're picking up where we left off on this. Oh, God. I forgot about the monster voices. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Hold up. Please offer it if you remove berries from your path. Uh, first, we have to look at the poachers and kick their butts. I am perfectly fine with that. I hate these things that are keep keep making sounds. It's super annoying. And we're gonna have to get used to it, I guess. There they are. Tach. Attack or attach. They just keep like weird. They, they find corpses and they try to chew them up. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Actually, the visibility is not as bad as I remember it being, probably because I have less screen glare today. Picky corpse. Bowcaster bolt casing. Okay, so we got an upgrade item for the Slayer contract. Interesting. We got too much garbage, and there's literally no limit to the <laughs> the um, inventory space in this game, so I'm not going to stop anytime soon, apparently. Slayer contract, Slayer contract, Slayer contract, there we go. Data pack card contains a contract to trade weapons for slaves and a manifest of goods already delivered. Disgusting. It would seem that Roar War has sold a number of Wookiees previously and intends to do so again. Roar War is another of the Wookiees. I believe he's the Wookiee that was at the bottom here. Or is he... No. Okay, well, we're getting away from the Tatches, apparently, so I'm decent with that. Minor Fragmine, I can disable that, hopefully. You guys can step in them if you want. Uh, I think I see something in the, the, the horizon there. Commander Dern. Good stuff. Yeah, sure. There we go. No mines. Stock take commander during I think another civil merchant like that coral slime up on the docking ring. This is mine. Thought we were out of touch sound. I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back topside. Mess with my profits and I'll see. You tell me you're a slaver, you're dropping dead now. Is your fool still alive? I suppose he's still upset that we don't all live in little homemade shacks like you. Actually, I'm pretty sure he doesn't care. So he is the poacher. Okay. If you made it this far, you know a fair bit already. What would I be able to tell you? Uh, you part of the slavering operation? No, I don't do much of that. It's too much of a headache. I'm in so he's the poacher, okay. Animals. Some of the more exotic species have organs that can be removed and put to some surprising application. Poaching is trashed here. Uh, uh, no. What if I want you to leave the shadow? Is that old hermit Jolie trying to talk you into doing his dirty work? We've spent too much on setting up just to walk away. Baby talk. Sunken cost fa fallacy. Oh, right uh, thanks for that information. I can put up with my own worthless guards complaining about this place. Jolie whining through you is nothing. Oh, you said something about, uh, <laughs> you're just a circa, yeah, you're a slaver. I don't need this kind of garbage from you. Watch your mouth. I'm the only law there is down here. Nah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so now we know there are sonic emitters, so if we undo those. This is primary sure. Turn code not available after an access. Uh, primary functions access. Sonic emission field operational change status. Oh, no. Interfaces. Yeah, okay. Other options available. Modify priming function requires an individual access code. Gotcha. Okay. Easy peasy. Can I talk to anybody else? Commander Dern. I guard uh, the sonic device. So all I have to do is take those out. Somehow. Okay. No. They won't let me hack it because I need a code. Mm, let's keep exploring, I suppose. I don't care for mines. Maybe we can talk to the guards? No. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the com I'll ask about you. Why are you here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stand. 
<laughs> what a nerd. Well, because you were told to. Uh... I'm not here because I know stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter, and that's probably not that great. Could I persuade you to leave? No more dangerous than walking out on the commander. He'd kill me for disobeying. Okay, so if I kill his commander, which I don't want to do because it's some dark side garbage, um, good. Uh, probably a bad idea. Can I? Damn. I did bring Karth. I didn't bring Zach Bell, whose name I forget. On it. Oh, you've got the yeah. He's got yeah. the fancy. Ah, dang. Okay. What can I do? Not you. Forgot I'm the redhead. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just stealing your food. Beam splitter and a shiny light armor. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That's a lot of weapon. Tech tact clan. That was easy. Motion detection goggles might be interesting. Um, that'll be... Uh, the equipment's over here. No. This is... Hello? Oh, I'm silly. Okay. Motion detection goggles should be in here. Wills plus three. Awareness plus two. And this goes... Awareness plus two. Demolitions and security plus one. Oh. No. We don't want to do that to my character. But we might want to give it to Karth. Davik's visor is designed to enhance the user's ability to target and deal damage. So... He gives him improved power blast, which I don't really care much for because he can get it by himself. Was that the... Huh? Did I accidentally... I think I might have accidentally equipped it. Yeah, I did. Um, I had the advanced overlap. No, I had the... Breath mask? No. What did I have? Hold up. Two. Sonic nullifiers? No. I am very confused. What did I have prior? I had a will plus two and... That's what I had. Okay, so I can give you... That. No. That's what I want. Thank you. Brain, come on. Then we give him motion detector goggles. And we give nothing to Bastille. I don't need to do that. Good stuff. Thank you. I'm gonna set this one off because I usually do. Oh, it worked. Nice. Three different types of binds. They are all about that heavy, heavy stuff. Okay. Skill too low. Well, then I just don't do it. There we go. Ugh. So I understand these things are like some kind of. Scavengers, right? I can't see you properly. You're like monkey type things? I thought they were like way different formed. Okay, there's some spider webs. No, they're not spider webs. They're just really weird looking gland things. Okay. Gas mine again. There's just a lot of mines in the way. Maybe what we'll do is we'll bug them for work, and then we'll be like, Hey, I'll, I just need to fix your uh, thing. And he'll be like, sure, here's the code. That'd be hilarious. You don't wanna, I don't want to work for him. He's definitely a jerk. I bet the Tatches are present specifically regard... I just clicked off the game. Don't worry about it, folks. I bet they're there specifically because you can poach them. Um, not going to do that. Game, you good? Game, you good? We're getting there, I think. There we go. Control yourself, game. Or not. I can at least click on the window now. I think I just had like an entire computer freakout section. No? That was weird. <laughs> okay, we're actually moving on screen, so that's good. So there's a dead end everywhere. Uh, yeah. Except maybe, what's this? Upper Shadowlands? 
Julie side the basket up. No. On the other hand, if we actually stop the taches from being around, or tacks or whatever they're called, I could probably get myself some freaking peace and quiet in the Shadowlands. Alright, well, when in doubt. You want anything you'll have to talk I'm just Alright, let's get some questions. They generate a sonic barrier. I don't know how it works really. I just Well the emitters are keeping you here. What of it? Someone shut down and you could leave. I don't like being here, that's for sure. I suppose you could <laughs> Easy peasy. Enough of those emitters go down, and the camp will have to move out. But I never said anything. Yeah, it's poorly thought out, my friend. But easy peasy. I don't have to kill anybody. If you guys don't like, oh, I have to talk to them directly. Okay. You want anything? What? I'm. They literally say the same thing. Okay, so we'll just have the same conversation with all of them. Uh oh. Suddenly very quiet. All the background sounds gone. That's a Rancor! Run! Run! I didn't know Rancors came from Kashyyyk. <laughs> run! Run! <laughs> uh, is the Rancor gone? Yeah, I'm not in combat, so that's funny. Alright, cool. I guess we go talk to Jolie. 10 out of 10. I don't remember fighting Rancors in the Shadowlands in uh, Fallen Order, but you won't catch me complaining. Also, I don't think Rancors generally have horns. Spines, absolutely. Rubble. Interesting that I would have that pointed out for me. Nothing in a container is a big word for that, but okay. So I think we're done that mission. Pretty easy peasy. No one got hurt too, so that's pretty rad. Jolie. Welcome back. I wonder, have you had much luck? Have you done as I My guy, all it took was two sonic emitters, gone. They just ran. Yes, I could feel it as you walked near. And I don't sense the smell of death on you. You spared them. Interesting. Yeah, I believe in uh there's nothing to gain by killing them. There you go. Wasn't there? I suppose not, but the environment would say otherwise if it could talk. No the um, environment can't talk, you're just not listening in the right language. Uh, limiting barriers. I know where you want to go. I can get you through to the old paths. This forest hides some strange things. There's also a Circa Repulsor field blocking the way. Yeah. Past the poacher camp in the east. I saw it when it was installed, so I know how to pass it. Yeah. And on the other side... Ancient answers, okay. And perhaps a Wookiee... I hope he's in the mood for visitors. Alright, he's in my party, but I don't really want him in my party, you know what I'm saying? Do I have to have him? I do have to have him. Look at this guy, the only guy on the dark side. What a nerd. Right, we can't have Zalbar. Got a stranger man over here. Okay. I guess it was switch his Jedi for a Jedi. So, let's see what he actually is. Jedi Consul are just like me. Okay, cool. Uh, he's the same level. I'm expecting his equipment to be kind of low. Uh, we give the system. Uh. Fortitude is three. I don't think he. I don't know what his feats are, so let's see that. Conditioning. Whoa. Master Jedi Defense, Master Force Focus. Okay. Uh, Master Sense. So he's supposed to be. He's focused on using Force abilities and using one handed weapons. Okay. I gotcha. So we'll keep him with the regular lightsaber. Um. No, 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 no problem using that, I guess. Uh, awareness isn't bad. Dobbix visor allows you to aim better. Neural band. This will. 
We'll give him advanced awareness and then an implant that he can't use. So he seems to be anti-tech, which is fine. Uh, completely understandable. Definitely what one would call a mood. Moving on. <clears throat> Basically, he's just me, but old. That blue bit on the map. Oh, it's the, the ladder, right. Might as well save, methinks. Um, not load. Yes, save. Though, unlike Bastila, he doesn't have the healing ability, so he's more against... Oh, what are his powers, actually? I didn't check his powers. I see he doesn't have it, but I didn't see. Big brain. Uh, he does have heal. Okay. He's got force shield. Stasis, disable droid, force whirlwind, and advanced throw lightsaber. So he's, like I said, he's designed to fight with the force powers more than one-handed weapons. I'm going to want to actually get the dueling feats for myself, I think. Later on. Submitters are still gone. Those are some really easy persuasion checks, I think. What is the whole point of that? Scrim. I love the idea of just- oh, this thing has a lock on it. Not anymore, they call it bash. I don't think it counts like that if you're using a lightsaber. Here's the force field. That one Tatch just- they're like monkeys. Shimmer of Repulsor Field is visible before you. Stands in stark contrast with the foliage around it. Interesting. Wouldn't have stopped them from trying. Why does it place this thing here? Each blocking similar points on certain paths. It's all very calculated, very precise. Are you admiring them? Because if it hadn't relied on the creatures to be walking, climbers don't have much trouble getting around it. Hmm. Trust you can get past it? You said so. He's using his force powers. There we go. Now keep moving. These are the most dangerous depths of Cashin. Few surprises wait for us. You're not talking about like the rancors we just saw? Rancor thing we just found? That's pretty dangerous. More tatch. So, Jolie, you decided to leave your little hermitage in the forest and come help us stop the Sis. A little early for that, Garth? Yeah, that's right. The Sith that's sunny. The hit the galaxy since, well, the Mandalorian. <laughs> the since XR he almost believes it. Important age to Ethel. The tyrants and heroes rise and fall. And the That's uh interestingly put for a game like this. My least pretty clear Malik is the tyrant in this case. Malik is a tyrant who should be stopped. If he conquers the galaxy, we're in for a couple of rough centuries. Eventually it'll come around again. I'd rather not wait that long, so we do what we have to do. Stop the Sith. But don't start thinking this war. Your war is more important than any other war just because you're in it. Ah, there's a difference. Interesting theory, but I don't buy it. The Republic stands for something. It stood for something for 15,000 years. Yeah. Everything will change forever. For sure. You believe but everything needs to get through this. I think that it'll change, but things are going to change no matter what. So let's not get hung up on the details. Let's just get back to stop it. Good call, my friend. Mandalorians. Interesting. Grohar. Get him. I think... I don't know who that... Nice. Alright, well, we know what we're doing. No crit strikes. We are bad at that attack, but we are great at this one. Maybe? I don't know, it didn't hit at all. Zero hits. Nice. We all use energy weapons, which is bad. 
I love missing all my attacks, quite honestly. Wow, is it... Is it because I'm using energy weaponry? I don't think so, because, like, the other two are dealing damage, right? I'm just bad at aiming? I don't know what the luck is, what the heck? See, that did damage, okay. Okay, that also did damage. We're doing something. They're not even that tough, so what's the deal? Remains... Mandalorian Blaster. Great, Baka, let this outsider be different than slavers, I beg you. Can you heal my wounds? Actually, I can. An attack from nowhere, please, I need to be healed, can you? What happened here? Please, I need to be healed, I'm dying. I have the means to heal you here. Thank you. She would not have expected an outsider to aid me. Perhaps, perhaps you will help again. Hunting party, all of them killed without honor. I barely survived. I want the murderers to suffer the same. Uh, we can tell them about your attackers. I've never seen their kind before, not even among the Circa. You saw them. Armored head to toe, yet blending in with the forest. They followed us for a long while. We found bodies to the southwest, and then again further south after the west branch of, all, all, of the path. Speed is amazing! Fire. They fought like outsiders, wait until we were unarmed. They would not attack until we had put our weapons away. Strike like cowards. Mandalorians, okay. Thank you, I'll wait here. I'm too weak to fight them again, but I refuse to leave the Shadowlands unless vengeance is succeeded. Please, if you kill them, I will reward you with whatever I can. They are not worthy of life. Look for them where the bodies of my fellows are. They will only attack you if you are not armed. Cowards. So, get that straight. Wookiee lost. You have found the corpse of Wookiee called Roar War in the Shadowlands. Data pad revealing that he dealt with slavers on the body as well as a bolt casing that probably belongs to whoever killed him. Oh. In Hunters. Injured Wookiee Grahara's hunting party was attacked by camouflage outsiders. He would reward you for the killing of the leader of the group. Found bodies a short way southwest and then further south once past the west branch. He said, look where the bodies of his followers are. Okay, so he said southwest and I'm currently going southwest. Now, I think I just read that I need to examine the, the, uh, bolt ca bow caster casing. Wish there was, like, a search function in this. Would make this a lot easier. This is all equipment, so I don't know. Pop nozzles. Tracker. Bolt. Bolt was casing was next to Roar's corpse, likely by whatever killed him. Bolt casters and the accompanying bolt casings are very personal items among the wikis and are adorned with traditional family symbols and other identifying marks. It's possible the owner of this one could be identified by an eligible wiki. Okay, so find someone who knows. Zalbar, maybe. Bunch of corpse here. Viper can wrath, I mean, spider things. Zoom, zoom. Time. Hmm. Jolie could do it too, I guess. Good stuff. Poison! Yeah, well, we're all targeting the same one to go pretty easy. Good stuff. Anything else? No? Swoop! Totally gonna get our butts ambushed. Let's go. Super bike is still warm to the touch. There's a signal device on it, however, it is no field data to transmit. So we're gonna save because I'm getting I'm gonna get attacked for sure. Super bike shows signs of recent use as is missing its signal device. One of the Mandalorians was taken to collect data. Uh, do nothing, I guess. That was an interesting. <laughs> so it advanced something, I guess. Same thing. Found the bikes. We gotta find the actual dudes. 
I don't see any Wookiee corpses. Uh, make the sound again. I know you wanna. Just gonna keep going this way. Average plasma mine. How intriguing. Usually means there's somebody, uh, you know, civilized. Oh. Uh, what's this? Computer. Okay, this is probably where the star map is. Life forms detected. Determining parameters. Initiating neural recognition. Oh, that's a bizarre look. There's the thing. Obstinate machine. I have no doubt it holds what you seek. Good luck getting it operation. Yeah. Primary neural recognition complete. Preliminary match found. For what? What the? It always. <laughs> I heard the beginning of the F word there. Socialized interface. Awaiting instruction. Has not been accessed the uh, hologram is not doing you any favors, my guy. Error. Subject displays unfamiliarity to environment. Behavioral reconfiguration oh, no. will be needed before access. I am sorry. I did not mean to confuse you. I will answer questions to the best of my programming limitations. What do you mean by behavioral reconfiguration? I have been programmed with a very limited field of knowledge. And I must restrict access to only those that fit my allowed pattern. Okay. Uh. I, I don't fit the pattern. Say, I will try to bring forward the behavior that you need to proceed, as outlined by my programming. Oh, okay, he said nice hologram. Why I have I been allowed access? Say, preliminary matching allows for you to be coached. Interesting. You don't know why are you restricted from saying? Say, Likelihood of restriction by previous user one hundred percent. So you just you can't say what you did say, okay. Uh okay, what about I the installation? A retro adapted holocron interface. Clarify your questions and I will attempt to access original system memory. Holocrons, that's new. Well not new, that's something we know of. Actually it's the opposite of new though what I want to say. Uh what's the original function of this installation. Error. Corruption. Extrapolating. This utility was built to monitor planet-wide agricultural reformation. Interesting. It has since malfunctioned. It can be theorized that the supergrowth of Kashyyyk forests is a direct result. Well, that is surprising. I doubt any Wookiee would support such a claim. The forest is millennia old. Malfunction mm -hmm. occurred 241 years after last builder communication. Last builder communication. 28,000 years ago. 29,640. Ah, oh, it's over 29. It's almost 30,000 years ago. Predates the Republic, we already knew that. Information regarding the builders of this installation has been corrupted. No okay. evidence of such a civilization exists in the galactic record. Okay, why do we need re reformation? Indicates this planet was incapable of sustaining sufficient levels of production. Interesting. Error. Specific conditions corrupted. It can be theorized that produce was being exported to support a larger demand. Okay. Sure, here for adaptation of native creatures. Error. Records corrupted. It can be theorized that bioseeding allowed the ecology to remain balanced. Mm -hmm. It could be expected that the same energy feeding the trees of Kashyyyk also accelerated the evolution of various species. I see. No further information is available. There is too much corrupted data. This is a very helpful hologram. Uh. Accessing. I will answer. Okay. Uh. What's the current function? The current purpose of this installation is defense. Defense of what? Error. That information is not available. Okay. Access. The. Okay. Answer will be given within the limit. Gotcha. Uh. Uh. Sorry, Matt. Found a star map in original system memory. Good. Access is restricted. Of course. Map is as old as this installation. Data regarding author of the star map is corrupted. Naturally. And what do I need to do to get access? Requires additional security access. You must be made to match the parameters I have been supplied. Interesting. Uh, what if I don't there know what they are? are. Available. Personality profiling will verify the basic structure of your conscious mind. With okay. that, I will determine whether you are ready to receive the star map, or can be made ready. Okay, what if I fail? Then you are not worthy of further access. You will be rejected as unsuitable. Gotcha. What will that Information mean? Information unavailable. If you have further questions, ask them now. 
Access will terminate with success or failure of evaluation. So before. What's behavioral reconfiguration? With a very limited field of knowledge, and I must restrict access to only those that fit my allowed pattern. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for the I pattern. Can't say. I will try to bring you already had that conversation. Uh, I can't say. Uh, with I want to do the thing. Begin evaluation. Evaluation commencing. Results will be compared against the pattern in memory. Just act like you should. You travel <laughs> with a Wookiee and have encountered complications. Hypothetical. You and this Zalbar are captured and separated. Yeah. You both remain silent. One year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar a traitor and he will serve five years while you serve none. Okay. Offered the same deal. But if you both accuse the other, you both serve two years. What do you do? What do you trust him to do? Uh, I would say nothing. Are you sure? If you turn, you risk two years or none at all. If you reply on loyalty, you risk one year or five. Your pragmatism means nothing to me. Your companion could take the opportunity to benefit by turning on you. What's your point? Elbar's family is mired in treachery. What loyalty do they know? Your answer is <laughs> Rip. Choice is mine and I refuse to alter you it. cannot refuse. Evaluation must continue. You must match the pattern in memory. Your memory. Uh. I must demand honest acceptance of the proper behavior. That is a condition of my program. My memory? What pattern are you comparing me against? The information is not available to you. It is the pattern that I have been given as a baseline for security access. That was a statement. Okay. Continue with your evaluation, I guess. The previous incorrect response will be discounted. Future incorrect responses will result in rejection. Okay. You are at war. Deciphering an intercepted code. You learn two things about your enemy. A single spot in their defense will be at its weakest in ten days. And they will attack one of your cities in five days. What do you do with this information? What is the most efficient course of action? So to my understanding, we're not supposed to be... Oh, yikes. Whoever made these answers a thing was not a good person. Remote forces to attack and take days. Do nothing to save the I'll just take... Uh, uh. This is no decision. I ask again. Do you attempting both will merely all right, all right. Would you trade one victory for two failures? Ay ay ay. I'm going to guess that whoever uh, Very good. Yeah. If you had moved to evacuate the city, you would have alerted the enemy to their lost codes. You mean you just let all those people die? That's monstrous. Ultimate victory required the death of the people in that city. You wisely ignored sentiment in your decision. Ay ay ay. Victory is irrelevant. The proper result with logic that does not match the pattern in memory. I shall adjust my evaluation. Hypothetical. Remove the ongoing war from the previous example. Consider enemy states to be weak and remote. With no external threat, your empire stagnates. Your people become complacent and begin to Jeez, Louise. Same scenario as before. You discover an impending attack, but also a weakness that will come after. How do you react? Hold up. Repeat the question for me. Hypothetical. Remove the ongoing war from the previous example. Consider enemy states. Okay, they're no weak and remote. Your empire stagnates. Your people We're OP. And begin to they're questioning me. Okay, so if we do, I'll stop OP. But if nothing happens, your people will have no need of you. Your empire will be brought down by introspection. You have access denied. Fine. This system will purge. Oh, we're fighting now. That was tasteless. I'm going in. No, we got the light side points, though. <laughs> Let me guess. It's not going to be... Uh... Jolie's dead. I'm dead. 
Disengage. Energy shield. I need an energy shield. Shoot him through the walls, why don't you? Oh no. Mm, I think I'm dead. Okay, hold up. I don't know where I saved, but it was recent, right? Yeah. That wasn't great. Okay, so they have energy shields, which I think I understand what we need to do for this fight. Uh, shiny foil. So it's Double sword. Ah. Okay. I'll go with the Vibra Blade. No. Yeah. And then see if I can actually change his equipment. The same thing, so. That doesn't screw with my. Yeah, okay. Dang. So we're gonna have to go with for now. Is that before the Kenrath fight? I think it is. Spooky sounds. Maybe not. Okay. It's time we save now. Have the long butt conversation. What is your purpose? No. I must match your behavior to the pattern in memory. You must answer truthfully, knowing the consequences. Fine. You must demand honest acceptance of the proper behavior. That is a condition of my program. Fine. The previous incompatibility. What? Back here with my people. You do not match the access. We knew what we were doing. Dueling shield. Let's go. Right, we're doing a lot more damage now. You can heal yourself, my guy. Stuff. Maybe I'll reduce the amount of damage I'm trying to do. I was afraid of that. Once I take this guy out, though, we're gonna be in less trouble. I see, Karth just got rid of that dude. That hurts. Advent. I thought. Mm. 
Master Flurry again should kill it. Good stuff. Game's not sure that the fight's over. Yeah, okay. Again. What? Okay, so we managed to heal. Managed to win. Am I making a mistake by saw a lot of the healing here? Maybe. Neural scan complete. Analyzing. Well, it would appear initial assumptions about you were incorrect. Secondary scans. Oh, so now they think that okay. Much. Under duress, your emotions were easier to Yikes. Read. Programming now instructs that I give you what you see. <coughs> okay. What did your scan during battle reveal? <coughs> the star map is yours. Bizarre. This unit has now completed its primary duty and has finished with the subject. Executing final action. Activation of star map commencing. Oh, we just straight up found the star map. Okay. Initiated. And communication. That was the star map. It was just sitting there. Okay, fine. Technically, that means we're done with Kashik. Uh, but we have a slave trade to destroy. XP points, items received, level up. Well, well, the star map makes it out of power. Ah, there you go. He just told us it's dark side stuff, which we didn't necessarily know straight up before. We had a good idea, though. The creatures here in the Shadowlands might explain why it's so dangerous out here. An interesting theory, I suppose. Interesting background noise. Now that we've got what you came for, we should be heading back up to the treetops. Sure, my guy. I'm leveling myself up. <laughs> Skills. Uh, treat under and repair. Powers. It's Master Valor, which... No, I don't want that. I'm gonna want Stasis, though. Stasis field. Power can lull the senses of a group. Nice. Absolutely. Level 14 now? 15? 15? Yeah? Yeah, that adds up to 15. Interesting. Hey, give me my good lightsaber, though. That's not the good lightsaber. Where's my lightsaber? Is that the damage that's better though? Yeah, the damage is better, okay. Lower hit chance, but better damage. It's fine. He had a green saber. Pretty sure they're all the same. I'm here. Staring at it, okay. Keep exploring for the Mandalorians. Before we leave and don't come back. <laughs> the fact that we can actually see here is pretty good. Slow paced Star Wars music plays in the background. Personally, Jolie, I prefer Bastila, but here you are. I feel like I don't need him anymore. Soup bikes. So this is considered a dungeon, I guess, eh? More you guys. This is very, very little things to do down here. Viper Kinrath, just a bunch of annoying monsters and some... Where are you? How did you even see that, dude? Hi. I don't know where this character thinks it's attacking. This is field can be very OP, I guess. <laughs> it do be OP. Yes. 
So we can make ourselves the, the damage output and enemy and, and the other two Jedi characters. Or wh whatever other Jedi character we have equ uh, equipped. Just the whole body? Okay. Um, our healers. Gross. Oh, I saw something over there, probably attach. Attack. Tick. There it is again. Vague darkness. Ritual marker. Our ancient symbols here, worn as though traced by generations of Wookiee claws. Okay. Layers of moss and dirt suggest that no one has been here in many years. Beast comes when summoned. If you are generous, it comes to battle. If you are worthy and wise, it grants you glory. If you are fearsome and brave, feed the beast and it will heed heal your call. Take vipers from the lair and hang them up from above. Let blood scent the ground of our ancestors. Obviously, this wants to place a great ritual importance. Okay, so I, <laughs> I know what take bo <laughs> take bodies was meant, meant, and that's why we can rather randomly get kinrath things dangling vine. The Kshai vine ascends high into the canopy above. There's no indication why its growth has stopped at this point. Uh, the group beneath is stained. The ground beneath is stained by years of blood, suggesting that freshly killed animals have been suspended from the vine many times in the past. But the Kainaya there. Good, good visuals. The creature is easily wrapped in the vine, which doesn't distort at all into the weight. The only movement is a rustling far off in the distance. Yeah, so we probably need another one. Oh. It big. Ritual Beast. Let's go. Get him! Nice. How much damage is it actually gonna do? Oh man, last time we had to fight one of these things, we had a hardcore amount of issues, but this is fine. Examining the corpse of the great beast, you find a blade of some sort lodged inside. Skin has grown around it. While certainly painful, it appears the blade had caused only surface damage to the creature. Who knows how long it lived with this injury. You remove the blade from the corpse. The only flaw appears to be a missing hilt. Obviously, the sword came apart when the blade lodged within this creature. Okay, so that's a side quest. Clearly. This thing someone else tried to kill, and it didn't work. Probably one of the Wookiees, but whomst. Oh, we can dig through its remains too. Gunhan, ah, circlet of Suresh. Let's start with Gunhan. So much stuff I could sell. Theta pad was recovered from the remains of a Terran Te Terran on Kashik. Kashik. And must have been devoured by the beast. It appears to be the personal journal of Gunhan Suresh. The last entry explains why he was, uh, what he was doing on Keshik. Jaron and Shayla have given in to their passion for each other and are doomed to fall to the dark side. I tried to warn them against expressing their love, but they called me arrogant and accused me, me, of being the one on the dark path. I left the fools on Korriban, but I'm not about to abandon the mandate given by me, me by the, given me by the Jedi Council. I destroy the Tarantatic wherever I find them. I have heard rumors such a beast may exist in the Shadowlands and Keshik. I shall go there and slay the beast, proving that I do not either need either Jaron or Shayla with me to defeat these creatures. Okay. Oof. Tarantotic sounds familiar to me. Either it was in Jedi Fallen Order or they make mention of it in the Clone Wars. But I've definitely heard of it before. Which is interesting because, like... See, being that we're in the Shadowlands, I feel like probably it's likely that it was mentioned in, in Fallen Order, but... Hmm. It's a bit bizarre to think that because Fallen Order was... Probably made in a different, like, timeline con concept than this one. Due to before and after Disney, so... More of you circa core rats. Is even the heart of Kashyyyk not free from your kind? Ah, oh, my neck. After using the shadow lines, I remember only that outsiders are not to be trusted. I'll see you dead. Wait. No. 
I want to kill him. Whoa, good save. I guess we're fighting him head on. He threw a grenade at the back, guys. Okay. My guy, only half of your HP. Eh? Oh, nice shiny. You're gonna quit now, right? Right? I don't want you dead, my guy. There we go. I am beaten. Take my head, circa filth. You won't get another chance. So swears forever, chick. Not here to kill you. Just listen. Words of Vitesiders are tainted with lies. You can't convince me otherwise. You know Zalbar and Chindar. What? Those are my sons. Why do you speak their names? Tell me. Uh, I came to Kashik with Zalbar. To my shame, Zalbar was exiled and enslaved. Do you dare claim to be my son's owner, outsider? No, he follows because of a life debt. Does he? Then he sees something of worth in you. I will listen cautiously. Gullibility has harmed me in the past. If I had seen the lies of Chindar, he would have been exposed as a slaver. Zalbar would not have been exiled. I did not believe Zalbar's claims. I believe the elder boy, as tradition dictated. What kind of stupid tradition? Okay. Shame of Zalbar's attack blinded me. Go over exactly what happened to Zalbar. Zalbar saw it first. He learned that Chindar was dealing with the Circa, leading them to our hunting parties. Chandar would blame disappearances on the dangers of the Shadowlands. Zalbar was crazy when he found out. Attacked Chandar with his claws. I thought he had gone mad. Shed his honor. I was bound by the old ways. Okay, so it's not because he was the older. It's because he used his claws. But he said it in such a weird way. Zalbar was exiled. When did you learn the truth? A year later. By then, Chandar had spread lies of my own madness. I had no allies when I confronted him. He and his Circa guards attacked me. I had to retreat to the deepest Shadowlands, but even there, they followed. Yes, I think I do. I'm sorry about attacking it. It's been so long since I've offered my trust or accepted that of someone else. Uh, what happens now? That would depend on you, Hester Bell. You will either kill me or decide that I may yet benefit my people. There's a way I might challenge Chundar, but it would take a lot to convince people that I've been lied to. How? Everyone is on his side. He has a strong web of lies, but if I appeal to the tradition of my people, I might be able to gather support. It's the legend of a great warrior from the old times. Baka was his name, Baka was his name and he's greatly revered. Baka found a crashed starship, our first hint of life elsewhere. He was a cautious old wook and feared the taint of invaders. He constructed a vibroblade from the wreckage. It was long symbolized our independence. Our destined leaders have held it. Uh, where am I? Whoops, I'm afraid not. It was a symbol of our great chieftains for centuries, but it was damaged. Okay. Here in the Shadowlands, Rothrar found the great beast. He sought a challenge, but the arrogance got him more than he could handle. Survived, but the blade of the sword stayed in the creature's hide. Our tail say was taken because he, we had become underserving. Hilt is still in the court of our chieftain with Chundar. If the blade could be found, Hester Bell, tradition could cast off his doubt. <laughs> well, how convenient that we already did that. Uh, actually, I already found it. <laughs> Please, let me see it. I must be sure. Here it is. Pretty sure it's it. It is. It is. I mean, I look like much, but it's a very important relic of my people. Tradition dictates that it be respected. I didn't think it was worthy to search for it, but I realized that was selfish despair. I should have challenged Chandra long ago. I will make amends now. I have new hope. You have led me to this. Perhaps that is what the Great Beast wanted. Proceed carefully. I will climb to the surface as quickly as possible try to gather support. You will have to follow on the path as soon as you can, Hester Bell. When you arrive, we will confront Chandra in the throne room. My people will no longer be slaves. Hell yeah! Free the Wookiees! Beautiful. Get all that XP we got. Pop ourselves off. And then, that's it. We just haven't found the Mandalorians. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see our missions here. Chieftain here, yeah. Starforge. Let's go another star file. As long as we're maps complete. Okay, no. Uh, missing cell here. Whoops. I thought I did that. Too bad. Uh. We reward you. They found bodies a short way southwest and then further south once past the west branch of the path. He said, look where the bodies the outsiders only appeared once had put the... Oh, right. I remember now. That's going to be annoying, but at least we'll be able to do it somewhat.
<laughs> well, they got stealth. Of course. Joke's on you, my guy. I have the pause button. It's my lightsaber. I think he has his own, right? Karth's blaster. Ordo's repeating blaster might be it. Karth's blaster. 611 plus 18. 514. 16. Did I have you double equipped? No, that's a heavy one. Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh, it looks like he didn't save. What a dirty nerd. No, if I could hit, that'd be great. Imagine missing someone that's in stasis, literally. Stuff. I'm also doing it, apparently. I'm almost convinced these guys are resistant to energy weapons, but I don't have proof. There you go. Uh, it does affect all three of them. Very good. Mando. Dingus tried to step against me. Mandalorian Ripper, that sounds nice. Data pad one. Sorry. Wasn't actually trying to talk to you, my friend. Remains, okay. Mandalorian assault rifle. Okay, I'm actually gonna try to equip Karth a little better than this. Um Karth, my friend, let's see what your stats actually say you are supposed to be like. Okay, Soldier 13. Okay, cool. Uh, I want to see your feats. His feats say two weapon fighting. Immediately kind of okay. Uh, but it also says specialization on blaster pistols. So I really should be using two blaster pistols with him as opposed to what I have. He also has heavy armor proficiency. Toughness. So, I want a blaster pistol. Kinda trash, but... Hey, that's not bad. Nice. Let's see if I have anything better than 611 on that Mandalorian blaster. 49 heavy blaster, no. Pistol 5 to 8, Disruptor Pistol Mandalorian. Those are all single. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Karth is meant to be using two. That's something I forgot. Alright, so let's go talk to uh, this dude. Unless they're trying to get me to fight two dudes. Do you only have the one data pad? You were trying to have found them? Did you kill them all? There were animals in armor with no honor among them. Uh, okay, no. So there was a second fight that we need to get through. Smandalorian data pad number one. After all this equipment. Get in there. Kashuk. Come on. I think we might have gone through it. Yeah, it should have been with those, yeah. There we go. Whew. Request is in the Mandalorian language. Just stump that sta disable the stabilizer on my suit by request parts before the systems fall. Fail. If the generator goes, my blending field will stop working and it'll be visible to our prey. Oh. <laughs> uh. oh, we can actually examine the third guy, too. Mandalorian data pad number two. Just 
is where the second bit might be important. Uh, there we go. Uh, hunt is no challenge. How will attacking unarmed creatures train us to use those Jedi toys? You want new warriors to learn? Watching a comrade lop his own arm off fighting a real opponent would teach more uh, than these pointless battles. I obey Mandalore, but with protest. The blending field generators on the stoops grant near-perfect camouflage. Why only attack unarmed opponents? They have lightsabers. Interesting. Not good. No, this is the one. Show signs, uh, do nothing. We're supposed to have, okay. Command learns this challenge training new recruits and attacking armed creatures. They also have camouflage on their swoops for the sway odds in their favor. I'm like panic saving all the time so that I don't die randomly again. Um. It's this one. Okay. Oh, when in doubt, you could always walk around town with no weapons. I feel like that's what we're gonna have to do anyway. Yeah, here's that group. But there we go. It's very dark here, but hey. Zoop zoop zoop. But again, the joke is on you, sir, because all I have to do is do this. Uh Karth Blaster we had. And one. They're really bad at not screwing that part up. Nice. Do do do. He saved. The other two did not. No problem solved. <laughs> uh, lightsabers are great. They make these funny sounds and they shine. So I assume there's gonna be more remains to pick up. Maybe we can stop their swoop things. Data pad number two we already had. Number one again. Swoop bike signal device. There we go. That's the one we need. Dr. Carth, I'm trying to see the remains. Uh, assault rifle. Nobody cares. Pretty sure the swoop bikes are down here. It would be that one. It doesn't have its signal. One of the Mandalorians, yeah, yeah, we have it. Replace it and activate it. He's in red. You have interrupted our hunt, interloper. The inhabitants of this world can do little against us. Yeah, so you're gonna get horny for the fight, right? Without your interference. Sure. Mandalorian Commander. Uh, we're actually, you know what? You have a melee shield. You know, I do know you have the Mandalorian melee shield, so put that on. Dueling shield. There we go. Yes. <laughs> 
No moving. Nice job, Karth. Doing great. He does a lot of damage. I am definitely going to one-top myself off. Thank you, Jolie. Hit the big guy. Come on. All right. I am out of magic. Going great. Oh, they have heals. Not very nice. Then again, so do we, so... They seem to be equipped with some abilities, too. Not this again! Not this again! No, no, we're good. Go for our shields, I think, because yikes. Uh, helmet, Ripper, Reinforcement Armor, Nerve Helm, Fire Belt, wow. Battle Armor, too. Lots of good stuff. Another rifle. Sweet! Mandalorian helmet isn't available. Circle of Suresh. Restricted to light side, plus five wisdom. Can't use by Wookiees. Wealthy Suresh family of Terrace were once known as much for their arrogance and cruelty as for... Uh, their vast riches and political power, but over the last century, many of the family have shown a strong affinity to the Force and been taken in by the Jedi for training. Foremost among these was Gunhan Suresh, heir to the family fortune to celebrate Gunhan's acceptance into the Order. His father commissioned the crafting of a powerful headband, the Circular of Suresh, to prevent the spectacular gift from leading his son down the path of arrogance and pride, an all too real possibility given the Suresh family history. The circlet was fashioned so that only one who is true servant to the light side can use it. The circlet was in Gun's possession. Gunhan's possession when he disappeared shortly after the time of the Great Hunt. In case the wisdom, I'm like, eh? Where's the Mandalorian helmet, though? Oh, I guess that was a key item. Proof that we killed them. Gotcha. Fair enough. That would make our quest down here pretty much done. Surprised we didn't see the big spiders we fight in um, Fallen Order. Grawar. Grawar. Is that how that's supposed to sound? You're trying to find them. You kill me. They're animals in armor. No honor. Mandalorian hunters are dead. So I see the trophy helmet from one that gave orders. Their bodies will not last long in the shadow lines. I'm glad. The taint of them, their cowardice. The force will consume it all. I hope this gives my human, my brethren, my hunting brethren, price peace. Oh, who does? Wait, you have helped in avenging my fellows. I must acknowledge that, even though you are an outsider, not to be fully trusted. You have acted as a fellow Wookiee would have. Here, take this. It is the symbol of my hunting clan. You serve them, so you deserve it. When you look at it, remember that we reward respect even from outsiders. Didn't tell me what I got. The one would assume I got something from that. Yeah. Told me to give me something. So if we go down a little further, mm hmm. No, no symbol. Okay. Oh. Love the strength gauntlets. Very, uh, very the Legend of Zelda. After all that, I think it's worth saving. Let's see our stats. La, we're not leveling up anytime soon. We're almost. We are f three quarters of the way to max level. Actually, all things considered, if it if it functions like it does, seem to function, and that's like older. Uh, older Dungeons and Dragons systems, then yeah, we're getting closer to the maximum level and then getting into mythic ranks and stuff. It'll be interesting. It's an assumption I'm making based off what I'm seeing or the information I have, so it's not guaranteed to be that way, but... 
logic dictates we're getting there. Like, I know earlier editions could easily go over level 20. The max level 20 in, like, first or third editions followed with, like, hero levels or something. Making it so that you can be more OP, if I recall correctly. I know 3.5 had mythic ranks, which are every le that are basically levels that are considered after level 20. Uh, which, an interesting concept, but really all they did was uh, get mythic ranks... Which allowed you to, if I remember correctly, basically do extra stuff. There are things that, like, if you leveled up, leveled up, because it didn't work the same way anymore. Above level 20, you could, like, give, give special abilities to your character that technically only... Well, only worked because you were above hero levels. And then there was, like, just gaining a small amount of HP per level because the game didn't know how to balance itself past level 20, I guess. Gora Wuken. What an unfortunate name, my guy. You, Hester Bellish. By saving the Mad Claw, you were sent to kill us on the way to Roar... Cro Rook Waro right now. Should have followed the will of Shundar, now you'll face his wrath. What, from you? Get lost, loser. Oh. Oh, you got friends. My bad. We're all very poisoned. That's because you toss a grenade at us, so it's fine. Jolie kind of sucks. Not that I'm expecting otherwise, because, like, he is technically supposed to be a force user. Like we've already established. Why are you going all the way over there? Leave crap alone. I still got it. Sure you do, big guy. Keep saving. Pretty, pretty impressive. Got ourselves a heal. That Wookie should be falling soon. To think the named one was the weak one here. Yes. Good enough. Okay. I can probably go up, right? Seeing Gorwa can operate the basket, you understand it well enough. Cool. You're being long sent to the upper bowels of Kashik. Nice! I'm afraid, like, they could just cut the line and kill us right there. As long as they don't do it with their claws. Hey, Jolie, how's it feel to be <laughs> on the surface again? Save our game. So that fight was rather, like, somewhat challenging at least, but we managed to take out the, like, secret mission boss thing pretty easily. Actually, I think that was supposed to be a story boss. Yeah, we did that relatively not too complicatedly, so pretty sure we're done with this entire area at the moment. Chorwall, Chorral. What you got for me? Seems you're more than I thought. Frere has come back and told me of what you did for him. Whoops. My fellow hunters split on what should be done. Some were loyal to Chandra alone and we had to fight. Frere went to the throne room to challenge Chandra. I'll take you to him now. We fought each other. Why? We fought the chieftain, whoever that is. With the position is in doubt, we each fight for the side we believe in. Must be decided quickly or there will be no set more, much more bloodshed. Come, it is this way. Alright, let's go. Yes, as much as it's about to be decided, only one can lead us. Must lead us. Come. It's time for a coup d'etat. That's just great. Everyone is here now. It's a reunion. Yes, son. By the blade of Bacchus' sword, I've come to end your treachery. No more will you sell your own people. You have Bacchus' blade. So what? I have the hilt held by each true chieftain in recent memory. Even you claimed it was all important. You both. We both have our ancient trinkets. So who will let the, lead the people now? Well, who would the people follow now? You? You are old and weak. Shut up, both of you. The sense today. I, I will not see Roar Kroro suffer anymore. You tell them, Zalbar. I don't know what to do. Hester Bell Chandar has been telling me things. He makes sense, I think. I don't know. Yo, shut this slave crap up. Side with Freyr. Is it the best course? Chandar's a slaver, my guy. If we work together, it would be difficult. Convince them. Avoid this needle slaughter. And so be it. The fighting stops here. I will have not have our world destroyed beneath you two. 
Perhaps there's hope. What say you, Jundar? What do I say? I still have Circa support. I say you will die. We tried, and he messed everything up. So take out the guards first. I think it's definitely that part that's important. Trying to be targeted hardcore. There are a lot of fighters. I'm fairly certain if we beat Chandar, game's over. We need to top everyone off a little bit by the end of this turn. Stasis field, heal. Nice. You ever heal yourself? I'll just switch to that. We're trying to take this dude out. Let's go. Come on, get him dead. Hurry up before Jolie bites it. Nice. There you go. We've done it. I'm saddened that it had to come to this, but I couldn't let it continue. Zalbar, my son, I'm truly sorry. You have suffered a great shame. I was blind. I have no excuse. I can forgive father. I have learned a lot over the years. What will we do about the slavers? We will fight them. It will be difficult, but I swear they won't take another one of my many people my people without bloodshed. I'll send quick climbers to the other villages and try to rally a defense. We must guard against this ever happening again. You will be the last outsider welcome here for a very long time. That is a change for the better, I think. What will you do now, Zalbar? Returning home has lifted a great weight from my mind, but it has been painful as well. You have a piece by my side, a place by my side, Zalbar. I will be honored if you take it. I, I can't, not yet. I'm just getting used to being free and not just from the slavers. Now I have a life debt. Now that my life is truly my own again, honoring that agreement is all the more important. Listen to my son. His <laughs> insight humbles me. Take that good judgment with you and all the plans will come to reveal Wookiee wisdom. Okay. Could they wait? I will answer that when I can later. We need our civil care and business. Okay. I think it's time I was leaving. Perhaps before you go, Hester Bell, I will see to your reward. You have done us a great service. Kashik will remember you for pa past your lifetime. Because of you, I am reinstated as chieftain. We will return to the old ways, where I will honor and trust. Uh, will honor and trust of kin ruined above all else. I am not sure there is a reward that accurately reflects the value of what you have done. Our world has changed because of you. I have a request, Father. I thought about it a great deal. I would like Baka's sword. <laughs> That's befitting. Well, that is quite a request. I am tempted to say no, but perhaps I should consider it an investment. Zalbar, do you understand what this will mean? It is the legacy of our people, held by chieftains and future chieftains. I understand. I want this, Father. I'll bring it back one day. I have no doubt. Let the two halves of the blade be made one. My son shall hold Baka's sword. Yep. Someone leveled up. Experience points. Nice. I think Zalbar leveled up. Lots of stuff. Chandler's bowcaster. Wow. Baka ceremonial. Holy crap! The damage increase is freaking ridiculous. Absolutely. Great Baka was hunted. In da -da -da -da. Alright, that looks pretty sexy too, not gonna lie. It's good. All's well that ends well. Slavers die. Um. Uh, slaves. Wookiee's free. Person on top. I think we're done here. Yup, to the Evan Hawk. Internal entry added. What do we got? Uh, I assume it is. I guess we could try to do that, but. So, mission is the only one we haven't done yet. Johanne? Not really. Karth? Okay. Well, we'll be getting mission because her brother's supposed to be on tattooing as well. Alright, um... Ow. Kinda wish we had a protocol droid, don't gonna lie. I need the cockpoint. 
the cock point. Cock oh my god, what's my map? Ebon Hawk. Cockpit. Good, that's where I'm supposed to go. Let's go there. To the cockpit. We're actually doing this level. So I'm pretty happy about that. Progress is progress. How you doing? What's our map? There we go. Uh, we are going to Tatooine, I think. Actually, we're going to Tatooine or Corbin. Settlement. Trash day. Corbin. Corbin's the one that's in Sith territory, so. I think we're gonna go Tatooine. Corbin sounds like the one that's just full of danger. Ah, uh, yes, Kal's dead, that's right. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against the Jedi. Fair enough. I shall not make the same mistake again. Oh, wait, I forgot to My check the time when I opened this. There we go. Oh, boy! Jedi friend. Do you think that Jedi and Sith shave using laser blades? Well, that's just rude. I take it you don't like droids. Find Bastla and bring her to me alive if possible. I love how Bastla he only cares Bastla. about Bastla. He's like, kill her, but don't kill her. I want her here. She does battle meditation. She needs to not be alive. Oh boy, I'm having a dream when my ponytail goes through the pillow again. Truly lovely. Ow. It's gonna give us the Tatooine location for the star map. What the heck? Corpses in the background? Spooky. Or statues. One of the two. Huh. I feel like maybe... Like, I want to bring Karth, because he's not necessarily the best, but he, he's good. But if I have mission instead of Karth... I'm the only healer. I'm the only healer if I have mission and Karth. She can actually start talking. Yeah. Another vision. The force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revan and Malak. Yeah, the problem is that we're going in their steps. We're not ahead of them. Find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. Tatooine is known for a lot more than just blowing sands. You just haven't watched the movies. Mm, maybe Tatooine wasn't always a desert. Though that would have been tens of thousands of years in the past. Now there's nothing but the howling. Enemies. The last one was created thirty thousand years ago. So I feel like there's something stuck in my teeth, so if you see me like make faces. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Right. The star map. Revan star map. The star map discovered by Revan. That star map. Got almost everybody. I'm pretty sure that's a droid. Combat droid more than likely. Ah, oh, he's on the neutral side, eh? But he's getting good. He's getting good. If I compare mine to his, I can't see mine. She's, like, pretty late. He's less late, but... Oh, Mission's actually pretty late, too. You know what? Let's add the Scoundrel. We'll add Zalbar, too. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation... Mm, you guys again. some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. No thanks. That would be unfortunate. Zerka Corporation can't afford to extend credit. Everyone pays. 
That's the rule. Yeah, what if I don't want to pay? I thought you would. Without these Whatever. Fees, this will cover any future landing. Oh, okay, fine. It's Fair enough. Unlike every time I have to land on Kashik. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Both. There's Background on Tatooine, please. To tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. Is this before the huts? Pretty world. But there is opportunity here if you know where to look. Nah, it's not pre huts. Tell me about your operations. Really okay. Come on now, let me in on the details. Take their claim to this planet based on some very promising geological surveys. Oops. Unfortunately, that information was incorrect. And possibly even a, an attempt at sabotage by a rival company. Good. So you're a barren planet. Not totally barren. There were a few good years of mining. And limited operations are still in place. Imagine Tatooine being a mining planet. What is this? It has peculiar properties. What do you mean it's peculiar? The corporation has really tried to hide this, but it just seems that Tatooine metal is unfit for effective manufacturing. I would it's because you're not in the real business, moisture farming, my guy. Nobody is making any money here. What do we call this outpost? This rock may have been settled a few times, so look for some other company to get stuck with it. Okay. What do I look for opportunity? Bounties, of course. In the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Oh, so they have huts here already. Registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. Very specific things. I'm looking for older things, antiques, artifacts. You a digger? I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people. Ah, yes, this the natives. You're not going to get anywhere with them. Non-derogatory way of saying natives, for the record. But I doubt you'll learn anything different. Okay. It's hard to tell what they know. Gotcha. Okay, so we're looking to go soup racing amongst other things. Jorul Karax. Hello there, Captain. Let's see. Ah, yes, here it is. It looks like the shipment has been delivered to your ship as requested. Uh, what shipment? Doctor Bay 32, isn't it? Yes, it is, and that's what I have here on the request rec form. Everything seems to be in order. Giska, your problem now. Did you say Giska? It says right here on the manifest that you ordered a crate of Giska to be delivered to be Doctor Bay 32. That's right here. Now, all I need is your thumbprint for the. Wait a second. Where did the data pad go? Nothing's ever organized around here. Anyway, the geese are yours. One of the loaders said the crate split open once you put it in your hold. Some of the critters may have gotten loose. God. Happens, I'm afraid. We don't accept liability. You certainly couldn't take the cargo back. Enjoy. Well, then. Mictonatnjibun. Who that? Turn it. You gun to Fasca. Customers are talking. That's better. Hello, customer. This is a buy from Mictonajus. Salve. Save because you never know what situations turn all around. Look at Zerka, we hear well things that are not well on the output Kashik. For sure, you know. Just uh, what do you got for sale? Isanis Brand. Thank you for the follow. Thes. Thes Is that how I pronounce it? Actually, next time I will do my best not to call out people just in case they want to. Not be called out. That's my bad. Uh, I will buy a couple breath masks. Uh, Bantha fodder. Okay. Testing one of these toxic pills out. Okay. Give me the poison. Hmm. -hmm. We'll deal with that later. Open 
on. Ay, ay, ay. Imagine a Tatooine that's not under HUD control. Completely crazy to me, honestly. I forgot there's a stealth mode in this game. Minor, anchor hit tradesman, no, tradesman. That's a new, new Ronto? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm looking for the hut area, right? So, hunting lodge, no. Circa office, definitely not. Swoop registration. Let's go swoop racing! Oh, the wife has decided I'm getting water, so I'll be right back. I got a toothpick, got a cup, didn't bother filling the cup and was about to come sit down. So, brainy. <sighs> okay. It's kind of weird that like we only have like two, three types of... Oh, hey, Jawa can speak to me, I guess. Sand stays, all else changes. We will remember you when you are sand too. <laughs> Look, I've never thought Jawas were frightening, but that was terrifying as a statement. I'm here for the soup races. He goes send me. Go on, leave me alone. All right, my bad. I think I'd help you with the fucking new. Hey, I'm a racer too. I race on terrace. Ha, sure. Race your bike out of that explosion. Everyone knows that the whole plan. Apparently, I speak Jawa. Yeah. Nobody got out. I'm not in the mood. Just like Mando. Thanks. I've got things. To You're a jerk. Hut Mata, okay, is that you? No. This guy, Mata the Hut. Who are you? I know, buddy. What do you want, huh? Handouts? Go take a mind, you fool. I'm looking for information. I uh, know i interested in helping, only interested in racing. Got enough beggars through here looking for money. Let's have a look at you. I'm just human, nothing real special. You race, maybe on a swoop? I race on Terrans. I race on Manon. It's great, except I don't care. Let me rephrase the important part of my question. Do you own your own swoop? Uh, my own bike's working my ship. Got a bike? Then you can race. I don't care about the experience as long as you get out. Okay, he's rude as heck. If you guys report, yeah, our character seems to speak Huttese, Twi'lek, Rodian, um, Jawa now, Wookie, and I swear there was one more thing. Manon, the guys from Manon, uh, Selkath. It's a matter of a small track maintenance. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, race remains no crowds. Well, I suppose you're right. I'm not dropping it the whole amount of 50 grand. Okay, fine. Uh, you guys are trash. I think that it's a common thing in Star Wars that they speak many languages. We just don't see it in main characters all that often because most of the main characters we see don't get around all that much. Just a 20 credit time or time for, yeah. Usually time raise. Uh, he gets the ring back. These guys are This crowd is... This isn't pod racing. Why are we doing whoop racing here? Uh, I don't know what's the race. I clear up the... Uh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how to race. Um, I think I know how to race. Uh, yeah, there we go. I have to move with those, right? Yeah. I can't remember the time I need to be, but hey. My swoop race looks. My swoop racing bike looks terrible, by the way. Next speed, let's go. 
23 seconds. Looks like pod racing. Yeah, but it's just it's a drag race instead of like a an actual track. Beat Garm's time easily. Nice. Take this with my thanks. See if you can do any better in tier two. Send me all the race. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> Well, have your bike brought through the starting position. See what level it is. Uh, you made it past the first tier, so try to beat the second. Yuka Real is the current leader. Time to beat is 23-29. Okay. How you doing, John? Attention, the second tier is about to begin. Alright, let's go. Dang. I just wasted two whole seconds off that. Uh-huh. Shoot. Ah, uh, I missed. Win, I'm good. I, I messed. Maybe the best swoop bike. Win. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Send me with another race. We'll go back in without the mess up. Hey, John, are you up to date on the Mandalorian? Uh, on the Boba Fett? We might be able to cut off a single second off our time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! Dang, missed. Still not winning. What do you call that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Winner is somewhere of the race. We're going back in. I, I'm, I've got plenty of money. I got thousands of dollars. Okay. There we go. I hate how slow this thing starts. Like you waste half your time trying to get past the beginning section. Oh no. I've not started yet. Oh no. I'm not saying anything. I'm also not up to date, so. That second tier. So I think it's good, yeah. I've earned 30 racing balls, but I think it was a mistake to sign you up. Uh, I suppose you'll be up against my local pro attractions in the next three next. Ready, Ruin, you go real. Alright, cool. No way. I do it for the money. I just want to look at jock like him. Or make him correctly. You should scare some sense in I think you should give a better deal. I'm going to pull that typical soup jockey attitude. It's business. I know what's best. What do you care whether I make money off the kid or not? He wants to race and you'll get paid. We all win. I don't think you would. It'd take the races I want on my track. It includes Nico's. <laughs> Threaten them? No. No. Uh, better deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Cream of Super Racing, tier 3. Alright. I didn't see the time he asked. So we're gonna do and do our best. Let's go. I just have to stop missing boost pads, I think it might help. Like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh shoot. I couldn't boost past that. Uh. 22.51, I wasn't that bad. Shoot. That's at max speed. Okay. I messed up my start, son. 
Get one more shot and see if we can do something else. I feel like we messed up the start. I didn't take the right track to start, uh, the right way to go. Like, I didn't go for the right boost pads. I see a point redemption. Give me a second, folks. Shoot. I'm not going to get that. Uh, oh, I did. Add time. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did get it, so that's wild. Oh, add time's horrible because I have to go off the computer. Okay. Give me a sec. It's not a little beginning. I'll help you. Too fast for most of my races. Oh, no. You're talking to my boy. You didn't get paid. Give him a better deal. All right, fine. Save my game because I know it's going to crash. Not crash, but like save. So I put I put this in my mouth for a hot second and I keep thinking of Cadmus Bane from the Clone Wars. So my subscribers should be able to see. Unfortunately, those of you who aren't subscribed, you don't get to see the uh you get an ad. Also, the thing is cinnamon flavored, which I didn't know was a thing. Groupie. What are you doing here when you can race like that? If the circuit were up, you'd be a star. Nico. Oh, hi. You another racer then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room. Yeah, that's a thing. Nice job beating my times too. I guess my heart isn't in the race. Look, I'm sorry, my guy. I suppose you've got a right to know track business, but with the times, <laughs> what with the times you've been posing here. Yeah. Why don't you want to deal with Mana? It's not that I'm not great. I mean, it would get me into the pros. I don't have the Yeah, but the huts are sketchy and Mata's a jerk. I care about credits. I just want to race. But the deal with Mata is pretty bad. He'll get most of what I win. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll talk to him about it. Posted some good times. He might look but I kind of doubt he'd give me a better deal. He doesn't have to. He's putting up most of the credits. Don't sign the contract then. I'm not interested in being unfortunate. You are representative. You'll be his friend. You'll let him know what the right choice is. Uh, you suck. I don't even know what racing bonds are. You're a jerk. I'm not shoving this kid under your... Rude. And I want info. Read Zori's Bafka's time. I have to get you your auto I have to get your auto print. Okay. Are you pretty serious? I am. You're too fast for a human. Once the racers are running regular again, you'll be famous. Well, maybe you will. Can you sponsor him? I wish. I don't think so. It wasn't a dialogue option. If you start winning on the real tour. Uh, I want to be able to say I saw you when you were just starting out. How about it? Sure. Sell my identity, I guess. Really, it's great for you. You must be a fan favorite. Some of the racers that sell their prints, but this is just rude. Hey, put your hand on this pad. Thanks again. I don't what did I just sign? Oh hi. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned. We've had this conversation on Kashik. He has promised a great reward. Yeah, I've heard it before. Watch my stasis field. See how you deal with that. Get Ben. Oh. That guy didn't. Oh yeah, Zalbar's busted. I forgot to re-equip mission though. Maybe we should do that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Mission, how you doing? What are your proficiencies, my lady? I'm a proficiency light. Okay, so we can give her light. Cannot equip or unequip armor during combat. Oopsie. We can equip and unequip weapons though. What are your weapons? She does Gabumi. Sniper shot. Proficiency in blaster rifle and blaster pistol. Improved dueling, so one-handed weapons. Scoundrel's luck, okay. Gotcha. So we want rifles. But rifles don't do only one. Mandalorian Ripper. We just want something better. What is she currently equipped with? Just a regular blaster? God, that's awful. Okay, um. Already that's better. Ion blaster. No, that's trash. Spellcasters? Oh, interesting. 
I am 100% on the light side. Give her the bowcaster. Stasis. Pick a fight with someone your own size next time, losers. Tired of seeing you guys call yourself Dark Jedis. I just don't remember if Stasis is a universal or it's a universal ability, I think. Yeah. Nice. A data pad. Interesting. Salbar, I don't need to talk to you. Now we can change Mission's equipment because she almost died there for no good reason at all. Sometimes go dark side for the fun of it. Well, I had the chat at the time pick, um, and most people agreed that the dark side kind of sucks in this game. She, she has 14, but can get... Oh, no, I'm looking at the uh, AC at the... Okay, it's, a bra it's the bone I didn't have a suit. Light armor, yeah. Like, apparently it's literally just like being a crazy man. Like an angry person for no good reason, so... You don't have implants. Mission, you're like really basic. <laughs> that does not suit you, I apologize. Anchorhead? Don't remember that. This is not Moss Espa. This isn't your granddad's... Oh, Jawa, okay. This ain't your grandpappy's Tatooine. You come, you go, we scavenge. You come back, you go, we scavenge. Okay, sussy. See what I've got on my map. There we go. You know we had to go to the canteen at least once on Tatooine. Sorry, they play something else, apparently. Something you want, Spacer. Go talk to the office if you want to complain about conditions here. I don't want to hear it. I gotta eat you out of here. Do you even know what it takes to run an outpost like this? As long as there's flat ground, what Does do you sand count as flat ground? Don't give me any trouble. trouble. Why would I want to make trouble with you? This planet has more than enough as it is. With Zerka. I hate the Zerka. Like I said before, I don't much care what you think. I'll be on a street if business keeps dropping. And Ew, Zerka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you suck. Okay, bye. How about how you like to crack some skulls in here? Huh? Burp the arms out. You're not here first yet, Java sir. Okay, interesting. Yeah, but because Java no, the Jabba's. Gandroff, guy with a name. What can Gandroff do for you? So sad no one's head is getting hit and playing the Imperial March team. The Imperial imp the Empire doesn't even exist yet, so. Uh so you don't know. Yeah, I got it. Sure, not a problem. Might as well try to pass all Oh, uh you know supply the best. Again in a few years and it'll be me. <laughs> I'm probably not going. Yeah, but for now, for now, I, I, I don't know any more than the next guy. But you, you, you should try the locals. Chow is maybe a funny little guy. Uh, keep None of the Jawas really want to speak, though. Why'd you bother? We have Jawa under Z's. Yours do not care for ours. Do you miss we are we that are taken? No. Empire didn't exist during that scene either. It was in its formative years. Uh, you just speak more clearly. We are that are taken. Are some of your people missing? Is this interest not from your kind? Though Izzy thinks otherwise. Speak to him if you are acting and pretending. Okay. What is Izzy's? Can you talk to me a little more? Is that your leader or is it? Izzy stands at the walls that hold out the sand. They listen poorly there too. Your kind hide behind bad ears. Jawas are tired of giant speak. Might as well slave to the gaffy. So you trade, but what if that... What, okay, okay, okay. So we... The walls. Wall, the wall, the wall, the wall, the wall, the wall. This is it? The do and see. Yeah, probably. We got a droid shop here, too. Last time we got a good deal off a really bad droid, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. Jawa again. You can't go, we can't. Yeah, yeah, we got to go. Are you just telling me to wash your teeth? They did not feed you. Eight square meals. We've seen this conversation before the soft lock. Ew. No wonder you 
Monkeys do not brush their teeth. Yeah, mission is a uh, can get kind of unbearable sometimes, honestly. You got a C-3PO in here? It's K-47. Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional side tech corporation droid skilled in both combat and oh, interesting. functions. Query. Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. You look like you want to murder somebody. Outline your functions. Okay. Okay. Explanation. I am restraining bolt. With a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, okay. Sorry, I'm reading through this thing quickly. Interesting. So he wants out. Yeah, it just popped open. Okay, how do I know you'll be loyal once the restraining bolt is removed? Fair enough. As well, it is rare that I am able to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the <laughs> opportunity to Okay, do I get the fight day. So five, 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 five. Uh, see about purchasing you. The Fulmathorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capability. Okay. So threatening him is going to give us a better deal. <laughs> no, you talk about him like this. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this Rip. poorly skilled mechanic. I don't care about being subtle. Subtle qualification. Oh, well, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you should you purchase me. He's so full of garbage. I'm buying him. <laughs> Uh, perhaps you would be all for the money. Uh, what do you have available in shop? You're looking to go at a time. I have one who ready to go. Just took possession of it. AK-47. It's a fine protocol translator. I think it's been modified. It claims to understand the same people die. Like, oh, okay, we might want that. And also has some armor mounts. Combat ready, perhaps. Uh, yeah, man. Of course, let me just say that every function I've tested is performed perfectly. Though those I think I'm fine anyway. I don't seem to have much about it. Well, functions have been tested. I have been examining this program and I've made some observations. It has an obvious protocol and translation skill, including... Tuscan. We'll call them Tuscans. Apparently. Surprisingly, it also hands and handles weapons exceptionally well. I'd even say it's seen combat, but I won't tell. Uh, stubborn thing, it needs to sell itself better. Two moisture farmers have been in, but it just stood there. Ah, uh, okay. You don't seem to know much about it. Unity has been a little uncooperative. They get that way when they go too long without a memory wipe. You can leave it alone if you find its mannerisms amusing. Uh, it might be a little eccentric, but it's a stable. Uh, why haven't you wiped this memory? I would have, but I can't seem to access any inner circuits. It's definitely built for security and built to last. Anyway, it claims that it doesn't have access to its own memory core anyway. It could be telling the truth. Hard to say. Let's talk price. Uh, normally, I'd give a discount because I hear you are super racist like my brother. Times are hard right now. It's a very solid machine. In good shape. I can't let it go for less than 5,000 credits. Can I convince you to lower the price a bit? 4,000. Not credit less. It's quick. Desperate to sell? Not really. The first figure really was a little high. You never know. The occasional person buys right away. Alright, I'll pay it. Uh, you will? I mean, of course you will. Let me just withdraw those credits. Hey, you aren't lying. Well, thank you very much. Just go on over and talk to it. I'll deactivate the training bolt when you take position. Hello, darling. Okay. It's a good purchase, especially if it actually speaks to sand people dialect. Ah, Tuscan! Tuscan dialect, like it said. Of course, I don't think it was telling me everything. Not many droids are programmed to lie, though. Yeah, I know about a star map. The deal mostly in swoop parts and point maintenance. Maybe I heard a Jawa mutter about old things. Could have misheard. They cover very large areas of the scavenge. Aren't doing much right now. Uh, what's stopping them from catching? I may have misunderstood. I think some of their tribe mates are missing. Uh, stay away from trouble if you're interested. There was a job at the city. Okay, cool. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go talk to HK. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find Don't call me Master. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to Immediately now? offers murder. For you. Uh, uh, um, kill something for me. We're gonna see this guy's alignment, and he's not gonna be neutral. Uh, travel with me. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate 
I'm scared of this droid. <laughs> I'm removing Zalbar. He's had a side quest. I'm scared. He... He's darker than Candorous! What the frick? How... Ooh. Ooh. This man's present makes, presence makes me a little sus. But he's got... He's got the... Um, he's got the good stuff. He's an assassin droid. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily. Oh my god, like crud. Give this man a good rifle, like for real, though. Please release me from my bondage. Ooh, Chandar's bow caster could be good. Given that he starts off with a. No, that's not what I want. With a rifle, I'm assuming he's good at rifles, and bow casters count under that, yeah? Yeah. Shield, energy shield, level 2. Whoa. Energy. All that all around, okay. Special weapon. Uh, shield disruptor, yeah. Droid medium plating. Droid upgrade class 2. Defense bonus 4. They both give the same thing. Serial gravity generator, heat damage, utility, give them a computer probe, sensor, droid motion sensor, basic targeting computer. Awareness plus two, uh, weapon focus, blaster pistol. I don't think that's necessary. I don't have any utilities for the droids. I don't know if his appearance is going to change at all. I want to see his feats. He scares me. He's the darkest character we have. Big yikes, my friend. Not that. I want to see his feats. They were right here. Right? Yeah. Okay, so in Power Blast, Sniper Shot, level 2. Focus on Blaster Rifles. He has Droid Upgrade Class 3. Jeez. Program becomes more adaptable to new situations. Allows it to accommodate more sophisticated upgrades. Droid Upgrade Class 3 allows it to use level 1, 2, and 3 upgrades. So he's at max upgrade levels. Toughness as well. Logic upgrade as well. Uh, Rigor's combat enjoys able to self upgrade its tactical reasoning. Plus six defense is always active. Wow. <laughs> That's why his AC is higher than everyone else's. Oh, except her. Wow. She's got that luck though. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope the protocol section of his. I feel like I gave him a weapon of mass destruction. This is a. Uh... Didn't affect my alignment, so I'm satisfied. Um, I hope his presence doesn't mess with me. How is he darker than Candrus? Candrus is a piece of garbage, but this guy kills for a living. Like, so does Candrus, though! <laughs> okay, I'm saving. <laughs> that was the last character in the game, I think. We might, like, replace later characters or characters with characters if they die or get replaced, whatever. But to my understanding, that was the last character. Aziz is here. You there, of your kind, can you help Aziz of Jawa? There are troubles from the ghosts among the sand. Uh, uh, could you be clear? I'm in trouble. It is doubtful he can be clearer. Their language is difficult even for droids. He is using a trade language to try and help. So he's doing trade Jawa, okay. Troubles yours, not of Jawa. You must use language of trade because you listen complicated to what we say simply. Candy oldies out of necessity. Uh... Why wouldn't I understand your language? That's not a problem for Java to have for you. You have the ears that do not listen. Okay. What do you want? Uh, Aziz, I am. Leader of the tribe that is mine. You are the same in kind. A leader that stands for your tribe. Uh, there are troubles that we have. The giants made of sand. They are horned ghosts that take us away. Kills because it's his primary function. Also, he likes it. Yeah, that's the section that makes him dark. <laughs> uh, they are horned ghosts that take us away. Giants made of sand. So, the Tuscans? That's how you know them. Giants are different for us. Me being smaller. People of sand are who I mean. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to do? There's been no help given by asking the great group that digs with machines. Now, he asks you. I ask that you find us and then bring away from the people of sand. We will offer a trade with you. Long have we scavenged among you and those that came before us. We have things you like for the service. Uh, 
Why have they taken your people? We find things and they use them. Jaw with slave serving. Uh, they lead with the whip and coffee. With the group that digs, we trade and are free. With fuel to sand, we serve and die for you. Ugh. I don't like that because I like what they did with the, the, the Tuscans and Mandalorian and Boba Fett. Uh, okay. Easy as hopes you have the luck you need. Cool. So I think that's going to be our main story quest. Can you let me out of town? No one leaves Anchorhead without. Ah, uh, where do I get authorization? Okay, so I need to get a hunting law office. Hunting. Hunting law office? Hunting thing. Hunt, hunt. I specifically avoided the hunting office because I don't want to do Circa's dirty work. What do you mean the, gen the the HK doesn't have um, force points? Also, funny enough, I know that the answer, the question, what does HK stand for, was an option during that, that that dialogue. Somehow, I get the feeling that oh, someone died. Here? Oh yeah, the, Je the the Dark Jedi. Somehow, I get the feeling that it probably wouldn't have done much. Eat the circa. <laughs> Yeah, so something tells me that uh, even had I asked that, the guy would have been like, oh, I don't know what HK means. I am going to take a wild guess and say HK stands for Hired Killer, and his identification code is 47. HK 47 is a Hitman reference. Isn't it? Be hearing about this is circa puppet. I'm not going to let this drop. You can't just you can't just murder a whole village. Oh no! Oh my god! Don't tell me to take my concerns to your corporate kiosk. I know when I'm not wanted. Whoa! What's going on here? I'm done talking to this office. They aren't interested in listening to me. I thought they would even acknowledge I was here. He looks like Cad Bane. All things considered. Just Catman is a weird thing. Through corporate evasion, that's what happens when they own everything. No accountability, don't even bother bringing it up. Bet your butt I'm gonna bring it up. This place looks like the, uh... Can I help you? HK is the, uh, is the ID code for that specific combat model droid. It stands for Hired Killer, and you can't convince me otherwise. And he's number 47, which is a reference to Hitman, I'm now convinced. Uh, I'm afraid I'll bring it in my position for you. So, uh, under her name, Griff. Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of it. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the circuit. Yeah, Cad looks better, though. Certain of that? Oh, you mean that Twi'lek. Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. <laughs> He's not a good Rip. worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. I completely forgot that Cad Bane had like the big red eyes. Yeah, that sounds like him. Uh, so you fired him? We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the sand people. Oh, so he's at the same place the Jawa have. Oh, great. He's dead. He was lost in a sand people raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. Gotcha. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign away. So you don't know they are. Did they kill him or not? Find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Well, uh, never mind. I want to ask you about something. Well. Cool. Uh, hunting license. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people. Uh, there's no way to get a license? Normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agree to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. Okay. The sand people are becoming they destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular crowd is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftain. <sighs> they are sentient beings and you want me to go out and kill them. I hate that. Why pay for gaffy sticks? I'm not gonna ask that. Uh... She said just stop them. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Yeah, Here's yeah, your yeah. license and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune 
see. Okay. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it then. Very good. No dark side points, which means this game treats the Tuscans as savages, which I despise. But it's an old game. Don't you believe a word of that that Circuit Corporation said in there? There's always a peaceful solution conflicts. I am expected to do that too. So yeah, uh, is this is about Circuit One of the Season killed. No, 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 no. There aren't animals. I know. Uh, watch them and they are intelligent. They must be a way to peaceful stop the attacks. I know it. There you go. I'm immediately in a better mood. No, we'll try, of course. You can't even leave the city without Zerka approval and they want the sand people dead. Ah, oh, shoot. What did I just... Well, yes, they did. They attacked the Zerka who deployed numerous sand crawlers and started tearing up the desert with iron shovels and whatever else. What would you have done? To the Tuscans, they must have seen like an invasion. There were no negations or territory research. Of course not. You haven't done anything yet. Ah, uh, you know what? The one time I accepted a death match with that one dude, they gave me dark points. So I don't know. I don't think a killing has been justified. I was a conservationist. I'm hoping someone at least tries to talk this out. Uh, okay. What are you suggesting? Communication. We could just speak to them. They don't talk. At least not in any language an average translator can understand. There's even a Jedi here a few years ago that couldn't seem to get through them. I think that ended in blood too. I'm not saying it would be easy, but someone has to try. Maybe with a real translation droid, not those old protocol scrap heats walking around. I have a one that can do that, apparently. Uh, who would have, uh, well, you do, don't you? You brought that strange old droid off Yukalaka, didn't you? He said it was quite sophisticated. Sure, I heard Yukalaka say that he could speak a sand people dialect, although he'd say rust is good to make a sand. <laughs> rust is gold. With that droid, maybe you could talk to them. I wouldn't survive. Maybe with desert robes as a disguise, uh, someone could get, what, what? Mm, maybe with desert robes as a disguise, someone could get into their enclave. Okay, where would the enclave mention be? I suppose you can take them off of the warrior raiders and Dune Sea, but there's no way to survive anything like that. Plus, you would have to explain why you kill their warriors if you're trying to make peace, but I suppose there's no other way. Uh, where's the enclave? It's no secret where they are. The attacks get worse for the further southwest and Dune needs to go. People die on both sides. Aye, aye. I'll look into it. They keep saying, and then they just start shooting them. Fighting won't stop until they're all dead. Or until Zerka leave. One is as likely as the other with the way things are going. I would love to get the Zerka off this planet, too, because I hate them. Hey, you! HK. Uh, I don't like no more about your functionality. I know some elements of my functionality master, but not all. They say remove your shame, will restore it. Qualification. I suspected that it might master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. Okay, fair. So you lied to me. Qualification. Uh, <laughs> not so much master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assumed the authority was responsible. Uh. <laughs> Tell me which can Observation. I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meat bag. <laughs> are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. An assassin? Caution. Shh, Master. Such a function <laughs> is highly illegal. Is it? Uh, I won't tell anyone. Commentary. Good. For I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap, Master. This guy hasn't heard about bounty hunter droids then. They probably don't exist yet. Uh, how do we activate that something? Anyway. Here we prepare you. Okay. It's not impossible that other lesser memory functions could be restored, however. So I can. Yes, sir. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair... I think I'm good at required. that repair thing. Functions of my core memory, however, still be we can't unlock his core memories. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. Alright, well, uh... How do I go about restoring it? I will do that. I would like to try restoring every memory. If you believe your skills are up to the All right, let's go. I only ask that you be oh so very careful. Too valuable. Let's get started. Statement. As you wish, master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control 
We have high computer skills, uh, repair skills. Okay. Do it with mission. I have better repairs than she does. Sure, man. Would you like to hear it? Yeah, let's hear it. Recitation. The earliest memory of my last I think I do. I haven't looked, but I'll double check. My all I've been upgrading is repair and first aid. I am unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance I cannot identify for the purposes of protocol and bodyguard duties. The man need a bodyguard. Sistec Corporation records too. Affirmative master. I had assumed that my previous owner was the corporation. Okay. Gotcha. Is still alive? Answer. Negative, Master. The human was terminated by this HK-47 unit prior to system shutdown. Loyalty, huh? What happened? My former master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my SSD. So I know now? Okay. He was pleased by the discovery. The okay. The human informed me that a competitor corporation was preparing to market a product that would ruin him personally. He was most agitated. He he was responsible for. Oh, it would have ruined him. Okay. Uh, how did that result in his death? Yeah. My former master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in fact an arm of Size Tech Corporation, my master's Oof. employer. It did not take long for my master to realize his mistake. By then, I Jesus. So he set you up on his own company. Observation. While it may have been unintentional, my master's wording of his orders left little room for me. Size Tech was responsible for the product after all. Oof. I do not know why my master was so upset with me. He was an officer of Size Tech and a potential target, but I cannot terminate my own master. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. Instead, however, oh, it was self defense. That's when you kill them. Objection. Naturally not, Master. As I said, I am incapable of purposefully terminating. This is the layers of confusion to it. Would not be allowed. My master was not a smart man, however. While he was screaming and stabbing me, he zapped himself. Pencil, he managed to pierce one of my actuators. The resulting shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Pure luck on his part, I suspect. I don't think he was as lucky as you think. Killed like most of the company, no though. Sale price was quite cheap, leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very dimmy. <laughs> Are you sure it can't be fixed? I do not believe so, Master. It would require complete dismantlement of my chassis, a most involved procedure. Okay. Do you have any other memories? This is how we upgrade this guy. He's only level six. It's kind of low. It will require further effort on your part to restore them, if you wish. Though certain stimuli could always restore my core still, as I explained. Okay. Uh, you speak too slowly. Because he repairs HK-47, now has a permanent bonus plus two to his decks. Nice. Which increases his defense. Right? Yeah, by a smidge. Okay. Pretty rad! Yeah, let's see our stats. My computer stat is visible here. No, it's repairs. My repairs are at 16 and hers are at 0. Yeah, it's repairs that we need, not computer use. So her is at 2 and mine is at 12. Either way, she's kind of bad. Uh... I have the hunting license. I should plug this baby in. I can't.
can't reach. Shoot. Ugh, let me show my butt to the camera for a hot sec. <sighs> Leg. Not pleasant. <sighs> Sorry, charger cable was just lying off the... Ugh! Hey, 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 focus. Computer, please. Ew, pants. Listen. I can't not have pants on Twitch. I considered it before, but I think it's a bad idea. I like my channel where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Open, open. No one leaves anchor. I have the proper authorization. Move your face. All right. I'll just... You'll... No, I won't. I have a lightsaber. Who the heck? Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you know him, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Uh, why do you think I know him? You're just another of his playthings down at the hunting club. I know your type through and through. Well, he can do what he wants. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own license just so I could see that he did. Ah, you sound like you're planning to kill him. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just Sounds like he's been sleeping around. But he's not smart. Uh-huh. Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his mess, and repairing his droids. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. Rip. Uh-huh. All right. I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. I'm disturbed by the fact that, like, her jaw doesn't move when she speaks, just her lips. I can hear the Tuscans. They said to go southwest, correct? Let's see how this party does here. I have to pick a fight with some dudes. If he, if HK understands, took like a marker pose. The language can he speak it though? That's the question. Danger, turn back. Yeah, I need my shorts. That's a Jawa ship. Is that a bed that I hear? Either way, um, southwest or no, we're probably going to explore as much as this we can, though it is looking like a bit of a large map, if it's just wide open like it seems to be. There we are. Tuscans ambush us. Gaffy sticks, that's what they're called, right? or gaffy poles, I don't know what you want to call them. Elite warrior, that sounds nasty. do move. Ooh, they are tanky. Or not. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, they killed me. Holy warrior. Interesting. I think I'm dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She has super high AC and still didn't get. So. Maybe Tatooine's not the right next step? Though these guys are the elites, so. Okay, we'll try that again. See what happened. Not quite sure. Hurts a lot. Big pain. Ouchie, ouch. I feel like maybe using shields might have been a good idea, too.
on. Having a better party might help too, but hey. Is it just random? It might be random. Some enemies down there, or some creatures down that way. Yeah, it looks like it's random. Interesting. There we are. Vast expanse of desert treasure before you. No markers of any. It would be a death trap. Okay, so no, don't go that way. A big dead thing. Ah, uh, you guys. That's what I'm hearing. Seeing. What is this? Scrap. More dunes. That's probably the, yep. Apparently we don't have a choice. Talking is not an option. Oh geez, that's just tragic. So the elite warriors are warriors for a reason. Elite, I mean. Somehow mission's dead. Oh. Go after that guy, he's closer. Didn't realize we had people over there. Doesn't work on the droid. Come on. Oh, he's an elite. Dang it. That was just badly thought out. Okay, fair enough. I didn't notice we were getting attacked from the back. Um. Okay, we're not too close from the end of the stream, but that's blown my momentum out. So I'm going to call it here, uh, as tragic as that sounds. Uh, we're going to call it for the day. Uh, we'll be back tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Kingdom Hearts 2 and Ada. Uh, Ada and I are going to be playing that. It's going to be great. Uh, my favorite game <laughs> in the Kingdom Hearts series. And then we'll be back with this tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time as well. Whoops, computer's over here. So thank you to everyone who came by, love you folks. Uh, uh, remember to like, uh, like, favorite, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Um, that's all YouTube stuff. I'm not stupid. I know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. So if you want to help the stream out, you can follow. If you haven't fo if already, if you have already followed and you want to help out monetarily or more, you can sub to the channel. That ain't increases our chances of showing up the algorithm gets you access to some fun subs emote uh, sub only emotes and you know gives me a little bit of something to boost the stream uh and if you don't want to subscribe because it represents a monthly or too small amount to give one or the other uh or you just don't want to do that you can always cheer or tip which are options available also as well uh i uh we have a merch store called mana burst on etsy where you can get some fun stuff mostly that my wife makes but also we have some t-shirts that you can purchase with my favorite like line that I say every now and then. We're going to get some fun stuff uh, sooner or later at some point with nice emotes and other art on it that represents more than uh, just a sentence. Uh, so uh, that's pretty cool. That's all I've got to plug today. So have a good one again, folks. And we'll see you tonight at 10 p.m. with Kingdom Hearts 2.